Hey guys, Patrick Smith from Vision Miner, and today we're going to be leveling the bed and showing you how to do it. So let's dive into that right now. One thing I want to mention is that the machine has to be at its operating temperatures before you level the bed. If you try doing it when it's cold, those parts will contract and expand enough to affect the quality of your print. So please, let's get these machine systems up to their operating temperature, which is the nozzle 400 degrees, the print bed 160 degrees, and then the chamber temp at 90 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and set those temperatures right now. Just gonna come in here, you'll see your nozzle temp, press the plus button, and we're gonna raise that, oops, sorry, go to settings, nozzle temp. Right now it's already at 400, so that's good. I'm gonna raise this, lower it right there. So I'm gonna put it to about 410. We're gonna move back, and now we're going to go to the chamber temp and make sure this is at 90. So we're good there. And then the final one is let's go ahead and hit that build plate. We already got it to 160. As you can see, you can easily change it right here. Boom, so 160. We got build plate at 160, nozzle temp 410. I'm gonna bring that down to 400. Bam. And then finally, the chamber temp at 90. All right, perfect guys. So we got all the systems up to their operating temperatures. We're ready to move on to the next part, which will use the touch screen on the machine that'll walk us through the build paint leveling process. What we wanna do right now, make sure you have your 0.2 metal feeler gauge. Don't use paper as it'll just burn and make sure you have your hot glove ready. So let's go ahead and get started. Zoom on in with me here. We're just gonna to touch, this is the home screen, touch build plate, perfect. Go to the next step. Please refer to the guide. We'll mention that the fun mats do come with their own manuals, online manuals that'll walk you through this process also. I wanna try and make it as easy as possible for you with this video. So we're gonna continue on to the next step here. Bam, it says turn the build plate screw and use the calibration card. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take the 0.2 feeler and we're gonna place it up underneath here. We wanna adjust this screw. I like to go out until I can't get it underneath it. And then I just start adjusting it until I can get that to slide under. Boom, there it went. And you wanna have just a little bit of drag on it. Not too much, not too little. That felt pretty good. Once we get that, back up here and we're just gonna go to the next step. It's pretty easy and it's gonna do this on the three corners of the machine. You'll notice that I taped a stick to my feeler gauge, that way I don't have to get my hand all up in there and burn my hand. So you get this. Got it. Get it to a little bit of drag. Nice. And now let's go on to the next step right here. To the third and final one. And just turning that screw on the bottom. Man, you'll notice this is the screw that I'm turning right here. Nice and knurled. Come back up here and check that out. Build plate leveling is complete. Boom. And there you have it, guys. That's how you level the build plate on your Fun Mat HT. What I really like, and you guys will notice it too, is this bed is so well engineered and built tough that it doesn't vibrate and flex. Those nuts, when you're adjusting them, they're nice and tight so it doesn't come out of calibration very easily. Heck, I've never had it come out. So I really like the features and the way this machine's built. Thanks for watching. I hope this makes it easier for you guys. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the next step, which is loading the filament. We're gonna be placing that video up real soon, so hit that subscribe button. That way you get the bell notice when the video's ready. In the meantime, 
Thanks so much for watching, guys. We really appreciate all your support. We're doing all we can, and it's you guys that make this all happen. So keep in touch, stay tuned, and we look forward to seeing you on the next video.